Right, okay. Um, I posted the other week about an extension kit framework that I was building, uh, and I just wanted to provide a little bit more info on it because there was quite a little lot of interest in that. Um, just so that A, if you're interested in it, you can get in contact with me to maybe help you set up something similar for yourselves, or B, give you enough information to actually go ahead and do that yourself. Um, so what are we doing here? We're building a framework so that we can expose um, extension kit flow parameters, uh, logging information, and some other controls within the ERP client itself. Um, extension kit is brilliant for creating all these integrations, um, but it's very much a standalone tool. Um, you don't need to use ERP essentially to create integrations. You could do it between se separate systems, um, but that means a lot of its features like the setup of parameters, uh, the logging information is all stored within the extension kit tool itself uh, rather than within the ERP client. And that means that if you want to provide things like reporting, um, your users are going to have to go and look at that client, which means providing new user access to that area, training on that new system. Um, whereas wouldn't it be nice if you could do a lot of that within the ERP client itself, um, where your users are already. Uh, so that's what I've done here. So um, the first step, creating an attribute master file with some flexi field groups attached to it. And this is primarily the controls then of these uh, extension kit flows. Um, and as you can see, I've got one here. This is um, a flow that's going to run whenever an employee gets updated. Um, and we've got some controls here. Um, we can enable or disable the flow. Uh, we can see when the last run was. Um, there's various notes about what it actually does and what it's used for. Uh, we've got some parameters here which I can set um, and then some logging information to show as the flow is actually running what it's doing. Uh, so all of this can be checked by users within the client itself without having to go into extension kit. Um, now within ERPX, unfortunately this isn't in ERP7 because uh, ERP7 doesn't have access to App Studio. But within ERPX, rather than giving people access to the attribute master file screen, which is fine for doing this stuff, but isn't always the prettiest, um, we can actually create them an, uh, an App Studio screen, which I've done here. Uh, and this is just looking at the same data, just displaying it in a better way. Um, so I can choose the flow that I want to look at, uh, and that's going to load me the same information. Uh, I've got logging on a separate uh, tab. Um, but everything is here ready for me to actually make some changes. Um, so what are we actually doing here? Well, you can see that I've got a, a flow which is called EMP trigger. Um, and that flow at the moment I've got set to enabled. Uh, and then I've got some parameters that I'm passing in. If we hop over to extension kit, um, you can see that I've got an employee train change trigger. And this is a, a flow that is triggered by an update to the employee record. Um, and the first thing I'm doing in here, if we look at one of the first template and script things, is I'm saying this flow references EK flow ID EMP trigger. Uh, and that's our link back to ERP. Um, so once I've got that, I can then go and get those details. So I'm making a normal standard call back uh, to the attribute values uh, public REST API uh, to now go and get that information. Um, and I then parse those details and I'm then deciding the first thing I do is this flow still enabled uh, so that's what this this filter is doing initially so we're looking at that custom EK flow header flexi field group checking the enabled and saying is this set to true if it is we're going to continue on processing the flow if it's not we'll exit out here so that's allowed us to control this extension kit flow enable it and disable it through the ERP client. Now, every time it runs, it's going to check this value and see whether it should be running. Um, what we're doing after that is if we are running, we're then posting a message back into the EK flow um, flexi field groups to say, OK, we've started this flow potentially for this this data. Um, and this is basically calling a separate endpoint. So I've created a update EK flow um, endpoint web uh, webhook within the system uh, and this is what's going to be writing back to those attribute master files 
um, and you can see the result of that it's what it's going to do is it's going to set uh, the last run times and then within the logging it's going to say I've started the flow um, or I'm just writing out a message about what I'm going to be doing so this is now the logging from extension kit being surfaced within the client itself and because we're sort of outside the realms of uh, the configuration of the extension kit we can do some neat things um, so you'll see that within these settings I've got a allow automatic disable on error now if I tick that what's going to happen is if I report back an error within this extension kit flow it's going to look at that and say okay are we meant to disable this flow in which case we're going to go back in and we're going to untick this so the next time it runs it's not going to um, actually function why is that a good thing well a lot of these flows are normally set to run overnight at the weekends at scheduled times uh, and you may be in a situation where if a run fails you don't want it to keep retrying and keep doing the same thing over and over again you want it to stop um, as far as I'm aware, you can't do that with extension kit. It's only going to happen if you then go in the following day and set it to be disabled. This way, the flow will still run, but it will always exit out the first step because it'll say it's not enabled. So this will pick up on an error. It will set this flag to be disabled. Um, and then the next time it runs, the flow will say, ah, this flow isn't enabled. So this means that if something happens overnight, you can stop everything running until you get in the following day, uh, analyze what the problem was and go from there and, and start picking up and changing things. Um, and that's, I mean, that's, this is fundamentally it. So it's just using FlexiField groups attached to an attribute master file, um, which we're then using to control our flow the same thing goes for the parameters i read those in at runtime within the flow itself um, so you can see that in this change trigger flow i've got a extract ek flow parameters uh, function which is going and getting the details uh, from the system and building up a parameter object which i can then use later in the flow with those values in so instead of having to set up uh, parameters within extension kit itself I can just control those within the ERP client and I can make changes per client and things like that um, to make various adjustments again surfacing the information in the client to make it a bit more friendly um, what else can we do well quite often you want to have nice views on what flows are running how they're doing uh, and because all this data is now being stored in the, the client we can do that kind of thing so we can go into the standard reporting um, and we can start running analysis on our flow so here I've got a, a little chart which is telling me how many runs per day um, this flow ran for um, we've also got details on the login messages so I can see that this employee trigger started seven times um, there were three messages logged to it uh, there was one error logged to it uh, and also it disabled itself once so I get all this information all presented to me through the client itself so everything can be controlled within the client and it's only at specific times I might then need to contact uh, sort of my IT desk or something to actually look in extension kit and make some changes um, but other than that I can do all my monitoring all my configuration um, through the ERP client itself uh, which I think is pretty neat which makes it a lot easier the data is where you're working anyway um, and that's it you've got a extension kit flow which is controlled by flexi field groups attached to an attribute master file so the standard building blocks of uh, ERP itself um, so yeah if you need any more information just drop me a message and I'll see if I can help thanks